Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I have some awesome news. A lot of you asked for the plans of this lifting table and they are finally finished. I redesigned the whole thing in CAD to include all the little details and also the changes I made during the build. So now we have a decent set of plans that you can download now on Etsy. I'll leave a link in the description of course. But before we get to the details of these plans, I will show you some updates and attachments I've already built for this table. The first thing I wanted to do together with you is to grease this table for the first time since I built it. So over there, it pushes out all the dirt. That's exactly what it should do. By the way, some of you mentioned the table would sink over time, at least when it gets older. But so far, I'm pretty lucky, everything stays in place. Even in whole month without use, this thing doesn't sink any millimeter. And now I will show you two attachments I've already built for this table. The first one is this mount for the bandsaw. And this, the vise of this bandsaw is perfectly leveled to the tabletop. So if I have bigger stock, I can just slide it over the table into the vise and clamp it. That's really handy. And the best of it is the mounting method to the table. Because I can get it off very easily, put it anywhere else, on the ground or on, to, on top of the table or somewhere else. And, as easy as I got it off, I can put it back to the table again. And, the most important thing, it's still parallel to the tabletop. That's very nice. And the second attachment is this vice mount that's right now mounted to my new secondary workbench here in the metal shop. And the clue of this vice mount is that you can easily loosen it from this table with just a turn of these four screws and bring it over to the lifting table to mount it here wherever needed in this hole pattern. And also just a turn of each screw fixes it pretty solid to this table. I didn't make a video about this attachment as this was more like a test run for this mechanism but I have plenty more ideas for other attachments where I will use this mechanism as well so you will see this on YouTube in future. But the way how this works is pretty simple It's just a simple cylinder that I cut in half at an angle and I put threads in the lower half. I can show this to you. So this part has threads, the other one doesn't. And if I tightening these together, if I tightening these together, these work like two wedges that are clamping to the sides of the holes in the table. Pretty simple but also pretty efficient. I really like this design. But now let's get back to the details of the plans of this lifting table. So now let's get to the details of these plans so you know what you get when you buy these. 
When you buy these on Etsy, you will receive a download link to the file of these PDF plans. So you can immediately print it after buying it. I recommend to print these plants at a scale of 100% so all the plants are in the right scale. Let's start in the beginning so you see what you get. At the beginning there is a shopping list of all the materials you need and also QR codes at the parts that you can buy ready to use. Most of these parts are linked to Amazon.com but some of them that are too special to get there. I linked the German website where I ordered them so you can ask them to ship it to your region or you have to find an equivalent that you can order where you come from. All the plants then are ordered like the videos so you can build this table with these plants and the videos I've already made. All the measurements in these plans are in the metric system, but all the important ones are in Imperial 2. So if you are used to work with Imperial measurements, that shouldn't be an issue. You remember that I used wooden templates to make some of the hinge plates, for example. These wooden templates I've made with my CNC machine. If you don't have a CNC machine, I have a solution for that because the plans for these parts are at a scale of 1 to 1. So you can just print these twice and cut it out to use this as a template. At the very end of these plans, there is also included two plans for guidance for the scissors as already some of you mentioned under my last videos that these scissors need a guidance. I also thought about this when I planned the lifting table. So I originally thought to include these guidances, but in my case it was not necessary. But if it's necessary in your build, here are the plans for the guidances as well. So that's it about the details of these plans, but there's one thing left. When you print these plans double-sided, what I recommend, then you have a bigger edge at the left hand, so you can bind these plans. And that's what I will do now. So, now the plants are really finished. I'm sure there are a ton of other ways how to bind these plants, for sure also some in a more metalworking style. I'd love to see your creative ideas how to do that, so please share them with me on Instagram. And I really hope you like these plants. I'm very happy to share them with you. I hope you will all buy these plants to build your own lifting table and also to support me and my work here in my shop. So thanks a lot for watching and good luck with your projects.